So not only does Occupy Wall Street have a future, it's existing right now. So an example is, say, just two days ago, I was involved in multiple conversations, meetings, assemblies, planning for May Day, talking about a future potential occupation, having conversations about what's been going on with um, housing and preventing evictions. So it's actually ongoing now. What most likely will happen in the spring are an increase in neighborhood assemblies, using public space to have assemblies, but in a bit of a decentralized way, a re-territorialized way. Um, in addition to that, people are definitely talking about occupying a plaza or space that then they sleep in, in addition to just using the public space. In New York? Yeah. Multiple in New York, but all over the entire country. The Occupy, I have many friends. I've been involved in groups and movements in the U.S. for 20 years now, so I do know some people in other cities, and it's a very similar story all over the United States. And what's been going on right now and what's increasing are the hundreds and hundreds of people who are being kept in their homes, where there's evictions that have been pre prevented and foreclosures that have been prevented because of the organization through Occupy. Now, Michael Moore, in an article in The Nation, was published two or three days ago, said uh, that Occupy should not listen to the um, um, to the old left and organize the way they organized, but um, he called it stay, stay natural, let uh, Occupy run its natural course. He didn't explain what he means, but what do you think, what, what, what's your take on the organizing question? Well, it's continuing to organize with one another in public spaces and horizontal ways. I think that's the most important part, and whoever's involved in that conversation, whether it's the old left or new people, what's important is the form that the conversation is taking. So I think actually the intention behind that more is to continue to organize in a way where all people can participate in making decisions of what the movement looks like. Traditional left would mean more of a hierarchical structure. Sometimes political parties are looking to institutional power to make change. And what Occupy has been doing throughout the United States and throughout the world, the various movements in Spain and in Greece are people looking to one another and creating a different kind of power together.